Hey everyone, welcome to Fashion Friday. It's a little late today and I actually, I'm kind of procrastinating because I need to uh, unload my car. I just did a big pull from one of my favorite boutiques in town, Stacy Rhodes. And it kind of inspired me to come on here and talk to you guys a little bit. I'm gonna be messing with my hair, I'm sorry. So what I think about shopping online versus shopping in a boutique or in person. They are two completely different things. There's two completely different reasons why you'd wanna shop at one versus another. And I wanted to kind of break down the pros and the cons of both. So I do these online style sessions and I talk to women all over the world and some men, but mostly women. And I've done them in Bali, I've done them in Australia, I've done them in India. It's really cool to kind of get to do that all over. But the problem, not the problem, but something that comes up with not being in person with that particular client is I can't hold their hand and walk through stores with them. So I teach them how to shop online and to shop online smarter. So most people think that if you're shopping online, it should be stuff for like Amazon or it should be stuff for the house. They don't think about how that would work in their closet. So the pros of shopping online are well, basically, you can't walk into a store and say, hey, do you know the measurements on these jeans? But you can go online, know your own measurements, and then say, great, I think these will fit me. So what you should do, you should shop online when you have something in mind that you are looking for. Unless you are one of those people that likes to touch and feel everything, which I can be when I'm shopping for other people, if I kind of have a vague idea what I'll do, Let's say I wanna order new jeans, and I do this all the time when I'm looking for new jeans, and I actually do it for clients too when I'm shopping for them in their own personal life. I need a pair of dark blue jeans that are high rise and are flared at the bottom. I'm gonna take my measurements. In this case, you should have your measurements for your bust, which is the widest part of your boobs. You should have the smallest part of your waist, and then you should also do your hips at your widest part. So, after you have that, keep them jotted down on a post-it note next to your desk, near your phone. Keep them in your, like a note on your phone. It's great. So then go online. I'm looking for jeans. These are the sizes. These are the measurements. I'm going to order these. So if I'm doing something where I need jeans or I need something for an event, I order three times as much as I need. And that way it comes to my door. I don't have to leave the house because I don't actually like to go shopping for this kind of stuff. I know, shocking, but it all comes to my house and then I can try it on in a controlled environment. I can go into my closet, I can go and look at how this new item fits into the grand scheme of things. And if you watched my video on dressing room meltdowns and how to avoid them, then you'll know that a lot of dressing rooms are kind of set up for you to fail. They're either set up for you, to, they're both set up for you to spend a lot of money. And when I say both, I mean a high end and a low end store. So a fast fashion store is set up in the same way that a higher end department store. They basically want you to spend as much money as possible. This way I'm in charge of how much I spend and I can also look at it, how does this fit into my wardrobe in the collection? So do these jeans work with this top that I have? Did these jeans work with anything that I own? Does this dress make sense with these shoes that I got? And that is a really great way to be, uh, to not also be impulsive when you're shopping. So you're not gonna go online and start searching for things that you don't need. But when you go to the store, you know, like at Target is really bad for this, but you have the impulse by section where it's like, oh, I might need three chapsticks later. I might need Starbucks gift cards for someone. Basically, retail stores are set up for you to spend more. Online stores do it too. They do it where if you spend $20 more, you'll get free shipping, even though shipping is $5. They've found ways to trick us into spending more money. But if you do it online, it's in a controlled environment. You don't have to go into a store where the lighting is bad or the dressing rooms are small or the lighting is overly bright and you're getting really insecure. You don't have to do that. So you can try it on your own lighting with your own mirror, with your own accessories. When you should go in person is when you're shopping small. So today I went into one of my favorite boutiques in the world, Stacy Rhodes Boutique. I've made friends with the people that work there. I know the women directly that I am supporting with my business and they also get to know me. They get to know me in a way where it's like, hey, this came in, we know you love this color, here's your size. And then they'll save it for you. Or in my case, they'll let me borrow beautiful clothes for my clients for photo shoots that we can't get anywhere else. So when you are shopping for something really unique, like a vintage piece, or you're shopping for something that you just can't get at a Nordstrom or a Macy's online, that's when it's time to go to the boutique. That's when it's time to get up, 
go make a day of it and go get to know the women that run the stores that you love. If you're shopping for stuff that's pretty boring or you can get anywhere else, stick to online. So I'm kind of, I like both. I like going to see my girls, but I also know that when I go, it's gonna take all day because I wanna to talk to them and I wanna get caught up. But if I'm on a mission from God, from bashing God, it's a Blues Brothers reference, sorry. If I'm on a mission, I just get it sent to the house, I get it overnighted, and then I can try it on. If it doesn't work, I can send it back. Most places are cool with shipping, and that way you also don't have to go into the dressing room and go, well, I think I'm a four here, but I might be a six, but I might be an eight, I don't know. It's easier to go, here are my measurements, here they are. So long story short, there are pros and cons to both. I like both, but for me, when I'm buying stuff for myself, I like it online. I like it to come to the house, and I like to be done with it. And I used to not always be that way. As I get older and I need things to be more uh, efficient, that's how I definitely do things. But if I love the people who are running the store, I'm gonna go hang out with them. So comment below, what are your favorite boutiques? What do you like about shopping online versus shopping in person or vice versa? Comment below. And I'm also gonna be making a really cool announcement soon about Ringo's birthday. I know I posted on here about it. I'll go ahead and tell you guys since we're here. I'll make an official announcement in a minute. Um, Ringo, the drummer from the Beatles, if you don't know who that is, how can you not? He's having a birthday on July 7th and I've been asked to be the ambassador for Nashville. So that means that I'm gonna be in charge of kind of throwing together like a little mini celebration for his birthday. And then at noon, our time, we're gonna say peace and love and we're gonna broadcast it on Facebook. Ringo will be watching the broadcast at his birthday in France. And then we're also gonna be part of like a big uh, kind of, I guess, fan video for him as well. So I'm getting a lot of people that are from business in Nashville. We're gonna all come together. I'm gonna to make an official video announcement soon, but that's what that was. I know I had a couple people ask me. So I have to go to work. I have to go and unload my car with all these amazing garment bags from Stacey Rhodes. But I'm really procrastinating. <laughs> all right, guys, I hope that was helpful. I will talk to you guys next week. And until then, you wear it so well. Bye, guys.